Hey there, it's Tim Gross from PianoGenius.com, and something that's always frustrated me is the difference between a beginning guitar player who can just learn three or four or five chords and just go out and entertain his friends sitting around a campfire singing everybody's favorite songs, and beginning piano players who are traditionally told there's like a thousand things they need to learn before they can even consider playing a basic song, and then when they are playing a basic song, it's going to sound really basic. And so what I wanted to show you today is what I, I'm calling cowboy chords, because that's what you call acoustic guitars. If you see a guy sitting around a campfire singing an eagle song, uh, these open chords that you're playing, those are called cowboy chords, because the kind of thing that cowboys would wear, would wear, cowboys would play when they're sitting around a campfire. I said wear because I was going to wear a cowboy hat for this, but turns out I don't have one. <laughs> All right, so, so I, my, I've broken down what I do into a series of patterns, and I do play one pattern, and I'll play a different pattern, and I'll mix the two of them. So what I want to do is show you my cowboy chord pattern, which I use all the time. In fact, I was just recently stumbled onto this thing where I, I played it in a song called The Boxer. La, 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 That's it. That's the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to play it. I'm going to show you some alternatives to make it easier if it seems too challenging. And I'm going to show you ways to make it sound cooler if it seems really straight ahead to you. So let's dive in. Okay. So here is the move. And I'm going to just going to play a C chord. Only going to be playing the 1, 3, and 5 notes with a C chord. And the basics of the move is this. 1, 2, 3, 4. So practice doing that, all right? The next thing is to alternate between the one and the five note in the left hand. So going like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And by the way, that's the pattern for a polka. That's how you play a polka. So it's basically a, a polka, but we're adding some things and making it sound uh, less polka-ish because we don't want to. We don't want really necessarily want to sound like we're playing a polka here. Okay. So here's the full move: one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay. So one and two and three and then whatever the bottom note is of the chord, go and. Four. So you're always playing this as like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And I like holding down the sustain pedal because it makes it sound nicer. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, so a couple of alternatives. You don't have to play all three notes in the beginning. You could go one As far as the one and the five notes, um, you can't help but notice that there's another one or eight, however you want to look at it up here. So you could go like this, play octaves, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, no matter what chord you're playing, you're just going to be playing the one, three, and five notes up here, and you're going to be alternating between the one and the five note down here. Now, the only thing you're going to run into is when you're playing a chord pattern, a chord progression, that sometimes the chords are far away from each other, so you have to figure out what to do about that. So let's look, uh, for instance, at the Eagles' um, peaceful, easy feeling. All right, so... I like the way you spot. might think that this sounds a little bit high, and it is kind of high. So one of the things you can do is not always play the root inversion of the chord. And I'm not going to get into inversions in this video because that's a whole other video. But we got one, three, five, and of course that's also a one or an eight, depending on how you want to look at it. And we've got for F, we've got one, three, five, and then we play down here. If we play an octave, we can see that that's 
there as well. So instead of playing it like this, one, three, five, we can play with the one on top, and, and that would look like this. So whichever inversion you're playing of the chord, you always play the thumb first, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and, all right? So sometimes when we're playing it, we're, we're gonna play the root note on the bottom, and then sometimes like with the F, we're gonna play it with on the top, and notice that there's a stretch there, and if you're not sure how to find the chord, just look at it like that, and go, okay. There's four chords, four notes, one, two, three, four, in between the one and the five note there. So, I like the way against your skin so brown. And the other thing you have as far as choices with the left hand, besides playing octaves and going... Other alternative is we've got the one and the five, but we also have the one up here also. You can think of it as an A, but it's also the one. So when we're moving around the different chords, let's look at this. So I like, so this is one and the five. When we go to F, the way. So this is the one and this is the five. This is also a five down here. Even though it's a C, um, in, for a C chord it's the root, but for the F chord it's the five. So we could go like this, way sparkling. So that's the one and that's the five. So let's look at what that look, looks like if you wanted to do that. I like the way It's kind of weird how the one is the five note of the F, but it's also the one of the C. And if you don't quite follow that or that's confusing, just don't worry about it. I'm just showing you different options. But you can do this on so many songs. And I just did a classic rock I filled in with some friends of mine. I live in Palm Springs, California, just uh, two nights ago and realized how often I played this pattern. Uh, playing, I was playing Ramblin' Man. No. Money driving my life away. Ooh, I'm driving my life away, looking for a better way for me. And these songs are all faster, which is what kind of makes them sound interesting. Ooh, it so just get used to the pattern it feels funny at first alternating between the you know the one and the five but you know once you got it you've got it and there's so many songs that work for that and so that's one pattern and once you've got that down you pick up a few more patterns and then you can alternate between the patterns and you're golden and sounding good so I hope this helps you uh, be able to take these sort of songs that are sort of awkward to play on piano if you don't have this cowboy chords style playing that I just showed you um, Go forth and multiply. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.